What's up guys, this is Hotline7RCT Gaming, bringing you another video for you guys, and as you can see by this one and some others lately, I've been trying to revive the whole short but sweet videos since there are so many games that, you know, kind of fall under the radar, and um, basically this is the perfect tool to kind of like highlight or showcase very quickly some of the games that I really love and maybe some of you are not familiar with. Um, so yeah, basically we're covering today Fighting EX Layer. This uh, incredibly fun game, uh, very very nice, very uh, pretty graphics done by Arica, which is a development team that was responsible for the Street Fighter EX series on the PlayStation. Now this game is funny because it, it, it started off its life basically as an April Fool's joke in I believe 2017 and yeah after that and the press got hold of it and you know the media and stuff uh, everybody went crazy over the game when was it coming out it was still undefined by that time when exactly it was going to come out but later on it was confirmed much later confirmed the date and it actually came out funnily enough on my birthday uh, last year on June 28 2018 came out for the PlayStation 4 uh, arcades and, and Windows platform of course uh, Steam which is where I ended up getting it almost a year later actually because I, I picked it up on Steam on uh, I think it was one of the summer sales this year or one of those sales that they had at a very very good price and I just couldn't say no so I grabbed it and I'm, I'm I gotta say I don't regret because I don't regret it because it's an amazing title it has its own fighting style I tried to go in this game blindly just I don't know maybe trying to use the same tactics of when I used to play Street Fighter EX before and that is not going to work. It's You need to look at this game as a brand new one. There's a lot of similarities with Street Fighter EX. But everything from the visuals, the sound, the combo system, there's a bit more depth than you would imagine coming from this series or from, you know, uh, basically the, the, the skeleton of what used to be Street Fighter EX. Uh, what else can I say guys? I mean, this the footage that I'm showing to you guys here is basically me trying it out because for a little while I wasn't playing the game. I had it on Steam and it was kind of like in the back burner aside from all of the games that I was covering. It's also the, f the fact that this game in the beginning used to have some issues in um, rendering on on 4k screens so it, it was like kind of impossible to play the game in 4k in full screen but that was uh, thankfully that was worked out and it works perfectly as you can see here in 4k and uh, yeah it's a matter of me getting in um, getting in there with the controls getting used to the timing because if you go trying to play it as Street Fighter, it's not going to work. If you go trying to play it as Samurai Showdown, it's obviously not going to work. Uh, try like going like Mortal Kombat, it's not going to work. It has its own style and its own timing. And of course, it has a nice little system where you can work around with um, these icons that you see on the bottom screen, like some cards and, and upgrades and stuff that you can do. I still don't know exactly how that works. But it is a function that is very different from other fighters. Um, let me see what else. Uh, many of the Street Fighter EX characters are back, like D Dark and Skullamania, and you're gonna see familiar faces here, and you're gonna see new characters as well. It's a pretty awesome title. Uh, you're gonna see how I gradually start getting better because the first two fights, the one with Sharon when I picked Sharon, didn't go very well. Uh, the second time around with the second character that was more like a Ryu type type of character I did a bit better, but I was still not there and then finally with the D dark when I picked D dark That's when things started changing around. I started feeling more in tune with the flow of the combos and stuff like that and I gotta say it's it's grown on me the game so if you haven't played it yet 
try to grab it in whatever format, whatever platform you play in. It's a really, really good fighter, and it's kind of lost amongst uh, the, the sea of, you know, the, the heavy hitting ones like Tekken and Soul Calibur and stuff like that, but it's really worth picking up. And that's gonna be basically it, guys. Um, if you like this video, enjoy this content. If you like the short but sweet videos, let me know in the comment section so I can, you know, adjust and do more of them. Because I do have plenty of games that I haven't covered. Uh, some of them are old, like this one. You know, they're not current games, but they are current games that should be. They are games that should be covered somehow. You know, not forgotten because they're really cool games and they go for a very good price at this point so if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later enjoy the rest of the video bye
そこだエクスプレートそこだダークナイフケイオウラウンドリーファイトエクスプレートそこだダークマイク死ねそこだもっと楽しませてよ。ラウンド4ファイト<笑>ダークワイヤーダークワイヤーダークワイヤーダークマイクシンそこだそこだ扉ダークワイヤーそこだダークワイヤーダークマイクシンダークワイヤーエクセルシダークマイクエクセルシュファイナルラウンドファイトダークマイクエクセルシダークワイヤーエクスプロシブそこだダークワイヤーそこだはい、僕は死だ。